template cards, like that's it's bullshit to me. Like I'm not sure why. Well, I do understand why the UFC sometimes ends up with like a ten bite card. You know what I mean? The, the shorter cards. But I just don't see why they don't schedule more fights for the card prior to it, right? Like schedule like fifteen to seventeen fights, right? Um, and then that way you're not looking for like random people to pick up fights, like uh, what like the Gutierrez fight I think was one of them. Uh, the Danny Barlow fight is another one of them. Where like now you're putting these like underskilled fighters against, you know what I mean? Better fighters on short notice. We're talking a week or two. Like, just schedule more fights. You know what I mean? Of course, yeah. Sometimes everyone's gonna show up, but most of the time, not everybody's gonna show up. I make for fucking another probably like hour or so of fights. Uh, I mean. Maybe it does, which as a fan, I'm not opposed to, right? Um, maybe as ESPN and all that, all those things go down, you may not like it. And obviously the UFC is going to have to pay more money. Um, but I just think it makes sense than just throwing people into fights um, randomly, you know what I mean? Which is great. I think you had at a point the last time we had talked about it. Where, like, there's been a lot of people who've gotten shots that way. Where, like, maybe they weren't going to make it in the UFC, but they were available, so they did make it in the UFC. Well, that's the thing, is we're in this, uh, you know, post-pandemic era where now we have fights every Saturday. And um, the roster's so extensive at the UFC that, you know, they do got to get these guys their fights. So, I mean, I get the idea of, uh, scheduling more fights, but it sounds like what you're saying is like if you do that and it fa- falls out, then the fight falls out entirely. Whereas instead of scheduling more fights, you know, you just try to stay with that base 12 to 14, and if something falls out, you just get somebody another fighter, which is, you know, kind of in to me at least the same as just having a bunch of fights, you know, you just gave somebody else a shot and you know it at least you know because okay it's not fair if somebody withdraws from the fight and then the other guy who's actually ready to fight now all of a sudden he doesn't get to uh get paid he doesn't get an opportunity to get paid so you know you're still getting a guy paid who's willing to fight you know and then you give somebody else a opportunity you know who could very well capitalize you know and show that on you know a week to four days four hours notice huh, could come in and you know make a name for themselves so sure and there's definitely those opportunities like and i don't want fighters to lose opportunities like that but i think you're also um giving more fighters more opportunities you compromise to, to get paid. the integrity of the product you know with this if, last minute shit with you know it becomes a quantity over quality type thing but since we're not in the days now where it's just one you know pay-per-view one fight night per month or whatever mm-hmm. type scenario you know we're getting them every week um it's just you know you gotta it's better than what we were looking at in denver where we had an arena you know, the the UFC was having to look forward to an arena full of people potentially showing up for eight fights mm-hmm. at one point. You know, they had to do what they could, you know, bring some guys in on short notice who, were, you know, in, in a lot of those fights, there was some folks who both of them were not necessarily, you know, ready to fight or had a fight, mm-hmm. you know, scheduled or anything. They just brought them in and, you know, you had two, you know, fit guy, you know, guys or gals uh, who weren't necessarily conditioned for a fight coming in to fight one another. Sure. You know, so yeah, it's like you save the card, you know, so that people, you know, are entertained. But are they entertained if the fights are, you know, meh or, you know, whatever? Um, Well, I think it's just one of those things. it's 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 a gamble. I think it, <clears throat> going the way I explained it is like you get the chance to like those people are going to be able to train for the like for the fight, right? Yeah. So we're going to see better fights if there's more of them and it drops out, I get it. Like maybe one fighter's not going to get paid, 
Um, and we all know that UFC fighters are underpaid uh, for the most part, uh, especially up and coming ones. Um, but just, I think it gives them just a better chance to like fight the fight that they're supposed to fight versus like they they were training for a striker and now they're fighting a wrestler. They were training for a jujitsu specialist and now they're fighting a striker. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. No, I feel you. I, I get that. I, like, I get the quality portion of your argument, but, you know, my, my whole thing is it's just like, you know, folks uh, losing out on getting paid and, you know, uh, opportunities to feed their family. That That's, I think well, that's really what it comes down to. Well, I think, like, again, it's like, you know what I mean? The UFC needs to compensate and make that happen. Like, I was ready. I made weight. You know what I mean? I think there maybe should be like, I made weight paycheck, right? Like, you get... I, 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 can't, I can't put a number on it. I mean, I could put a number on it, but like, not put a number on it, but like, put a, I made weight paycheck. Yeah. So, like, I, I was here. I was ready. Like, I was, you know what I mean, gloved up or, or, or whatever it was. Like, um... And then after that fact, you know what I mean, then you, you maybe figure out the pay structure above and beyond that. I get it. I feel you. I mean, it's both valid, you know, arguments. I get it. Like, I, I would rather, you know, yeah, 17 fight card guys uh, that are that are fighting each other who were, you know, uh, planning for one another the entire time, you know, yeah, it may extend the card out an hour, hour and a half or so, but, you know, you're getting good fights in the off chance that, you know, folks start dropping out, then you're right at the same amount of fights that people are used to mm-hmm. on a normal UFC card. And I think very rarely are you going to run into where there was like a ton of fights, right? Where there's the whole seven, 17 fights. Generally, you're going to get the 5, 10, or not 5, sorry, four, five, six fights that might drop out or whatever it is, and then you're still kind of where you want to be. I got you. So, I mean, this is a, for instance, we're looking at a 10-fight card that would have been a 12-fight card had a couple of these fights not uh, fell out. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a... the the problem you got so you got two fights that were rebooked making it a 10 fight card and then you have two fights that were not rebooked right so, so we now put it, it went at 14 a, it went from a a, four, a 14 fight card to a 10 fight card with with, with it could have potentially been an 8 fight card had two of the fights not been rescheduled mm-hmm. So book, book more fights. Dana White, book more fights, my guy. Book more fights. You think book more fights instead of... Book more fights. Save the fights, you know, that are on the card. Save... I understand your point, too. Like, where it's like, save the fights, cool. But, like, so somebody gets a chance to get into the UFC. But if you just make more fights, more people are still going to have chances to get in the UFC because you're going to need more contenders. You're going to need more... Uh, and you're always going to have the ability to save a fight, right? You're always going to have the ability to throw somebody from somewhere into a fight if you need it. But if you just book more fights in the beginning, we don't get 10 fight cards. I guess I guess really what would be a good way to, uh, you know, really make sure that, you know, a lot of <laughs> all parties are getting heard. You know, I'd love to get, you know, uh, your perspective if you're watching and you have any sort of opinion, it'd be wonderful to hear your opinion, whether you're a fan or maybe you're a fighter yourself. Any fighters that are potentially watching this, let us know your thoughts. Uh, how would you feel? Would you rather get your fight scrapped completely and have that opportunity to have a full camp against somebody and uh, be able to execute? Or, hey, I'm, I'm trying to feed my family. I'm, I'm a businessman. You know, I need my money. We're in the fight game. That's what we do is fight. I'm here to take on all comers regardless of circumstance and get that paycheck. Hey, uh, let us know what you think.